Here's 7 facts you didn't know about Naboo in the Battlefront games. There's a few paintings of Naboo's royalty including Queen Amidala scattered around Thede's palace. Although she was never playable in the franchise, this skin does make an appearance in the original's campaign mode, when the Empire invaded Naboo to take out the newly elected Queen. This model shares the same animations as Princess Leia but has Natalie Portman's face which is pretty funny since this isn't even Padme and she's not a hero on the light side. In fact, the Naboo guards were also meant to be playable in Battlefront 2's hunt mode but only appeared in the story mode missions of Thede and Coruscant since there wasn't any other humanoid infantry faction. Plus, the Jedi models from Coruscant also protected the Queen in this mission. Luckily, we did get a Gungan hunt mode which is by far the craziest experience in any Battlefront game since all they can do is throw grenades. Gungans are more of a threat to themselves than the invading CIS forces and what's ironic is after all this chaos, my victory screen so happen to be this very fitting image. Plus, for some reason, they can only ever verse B1 battle droids in the story mode of Battlefront 1, while you can only verse B2 units in Battlefront 2. Speaking of which, Naboo has two maps in the original game. Naboo Plains, which is clearly based off of the big grassy fields from Episode 1. Although there aren't much details they could have added to link it to the films, it's still fun hiding in the grass and sniping enemies. Sadly, this map was never brought over to the sequel or even the reboot. Instead, all three games have the capital city of Thede. Thede's architecture is mainly based off Spain and Italy, which is where some movie scenes were shot, while the palace's exterior takes inspiration from the mosque in Istanbul. Though, the queen's dress mentioned earlier is actually inspired off Mongolian noble wives clothing which would wear horns once they were married, which is probably why Queen Amidala never wore one. So a very interesting mix of design concepts but the reboot's map includes so much references to the films in both the throne room section of the palace and of course the hangar, with Padme's awesome chrome starship. Having the iconic generator area where Maul fought Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon with the laser barriers far off in the distance. Going outside the palace we can see the iconic main strip like in the films, with statues that hold the globe of peace that unify the Gungans and humans. Plus, if you fly around in galactic assault, you'll see that Theed is actually built on mountains and cliffs which is also visible through the hangar. The original game's Theed maps also had some interesting details. Instead of being completely flat streets like in the reboot, they have stairways leading to upper balconies which is pretty cool. But for some reason NPCs struggle to get up here. Plus, some comments say you can activate fireworks in Naboo. I tried looking everywhere for it but sadly haven't been able to get it going so if you know comment below. And on a random note, this water port thing from episode 2 does make its way into the game but on Kashyyyk docks for some reason. You might have also noticed these fountains scattered around the map, although they are in the reboot. The original's maps have a body of water that vehicles can drive on. In fact, not only can they still shoot underwater, which isn't possible with infantry, but sometimes your vehicle glitches out and sinks upside down. Which is actually hilarious how it can still work in this position. On that note, Battlefront 1's skybox is also pretty glitchy, allowing out of bounds areas to be reached easily by jet troopers. Also, you can only play at night time in Battlefront 2 and vice versa in the first game, but previous versions of the map show a different coloured sky than the one we got. In fact, the preview screen of Theed uses the beta version of the map. And quick shout out to Cryptic Element for the awesome beta map showcases. Although it wasn't as detailed, it was much bigger than the final version. A lot of people in the community prefer this map's layout over the final one since it divides points of interests with rivers and bridges, giving it a more unique Venice style vibe. If only we could play these earlier versions of maps, right Aspire? Maybe as DLC since it would be so cool using the gunship and MT T in the beta version of Naboo Plains, as well as all the other really cool maps that were drastically changed before launch like Yavin 4. Find out more here.